community are expected to attend today's funeral. Andres Fuentes is live in Hammond with a preview of today's service. Olivia, we're expecting a packed house here at the funeral home in Hammond with a lot of people paying their respects for Callie and Aaron and also saying their prayers for the loved ones that survived them. Now, if you do want to come on down, it will be at the Harry McNeely and Son Funeral Home in Hammond. The services start at 1130 this morning, and then the funeral will start at 130 this afternoon. Speaking with a lot of people here in the community, uh, they're all ready to come on down, say their final goodbyes to this beloved mother daughter duo and again also pay their respects for their surviving loved ones. Now last Thursday, Callie's body was found dead in her trailer in La Ranger with no sign of her two daughters anywhere on the property. That's what prompted a region wide police search to find the two girls only to track them down in Jackson, Mississippi, hours away. Aaron's dead body was found in the woods. Her six year old sister was found injured in a nearby car just a few yards away. Mississippi police eventually arrested to Daniel Callahan for those murders and the kidnappings, which is still leaving this community with a lot of pain and a lot of emotion. I mean, I don't know why that this happened. I mean, they were close knit family. I love them to death and I really want to be there to help them. Now, both Daniel Callahan and his alleged accomplice, Victoria Cox, face capital murder charges and sexual battery charges connected to the death of Aaron and the kidnapping of both of the sisters. Callahan, in this case, is also accused of killing the mother, Callie, uh, in La Ranger Wednesday, uh, sometime on Wednesday last week. Now, for La Ronja and really all of Tangibahoa Parish, a lot of outpouring has been uh, coming out over the past few days, and uh, we've been seeing a lot of people contribute to the GoFundMe account. Uh, we have all of those links on our website, including links to the funeral here in Hammond on our website, fox8live.com. For now, reporting live, I'm Dennis Fuentes, Fox 8. Local